In this how-to video of Backup Exec 2012, I'm going to show you how to set up the networking piece and also get access to the keys for encryption. So first thing we're going to do is go in the upper left-hand corner, click on Configuration Settings, Backup Exec Settings. From here we will click on the Network and Security. So we can check the box that enables selection of user shares. This is instead of doing it by drive letter, you can actually do it by shares for, for Windows servers. If you don't check this box, you might see the shares, but you won't be able to select them. From here, you can enable the remote agent for a specific TCP port. By default, it'll choose the first one in the range and continue on until it gets to the last one. Now this uses port 1025 through the 65,000 range because the first 1024 ports are well-known ports, but you can change that to anything that you want. This particular checkbox allows you to use a specific port instead of the default one for Oracle Server. In the data encryption, if you choose the FIPS 140 compliant software, you will need to set up and manage the keys so you're using a 256-bit encryption uh, key. So you can just click New, and from here you can type in a name for the key, choose 256, choose a 16-character password in both places, choose the restricted option, and then click OK. So those are the different options for the network and security piece of Backup Exec 2012.